Well, hey everybody, welcome back and welcome to another Wednesday edition of Abandoned and Forgotten Places. Okay, hey, uh, a lot of new subscribers have jumped on board in the last few weeks, and so uh, because you all are new to the channel, I just thought I would say once again, uh, when we film on Wednesdays, it's basically the traditional forward-facing approach to documenting abandoned mines, but Saturdays, that's when we get really crazy, pull out all the cameras, and do the really, really fancy and tricky kind of editing and do a little bit better job on the site, okay? So uh, in the old days, sites like this that were much smaller mom and pop operations, we would kind of pass these up and look for the larger ones so that we could make a Saturday episode. But uh, a few months ago, we started doing Wednesdays and uh, incorporating the smaller sites into the channel. And that's what we've got right here. So um, as we were coming up here, I'm looking around, I'm, I'm looking at the can dumps and I'm seeing all kinds of cans from the 70s and the 80s. So I think what we have here is probably like a, maybe a 60s or a 70s mine. It could, yeah. it could potentially go back as and be as old as the 40s, 40s or 30s. Yeah. But uh, over the years, a lot of people have come back up here and uh, they're doing some um, recreational prospecting or recreational mining. And that's why we're seeing lots of modern stuff around here, like this old uh, wash basin that somebody was using for, full, uh, for a fire pit. And it's filled with a lot of modern um, pop cans. Wait, pop. Soda. Uh, soda. Soda cans. You see, in Wyoming, it's pop, but in Nevada, Nevada, it's soda. It's soda. And then when you go back east, everything is Coke. Yes. No matter what the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this should be fun to poke around. Let's get started. Okay, first things first. Let's look out the window of the cabin here. Across the way, we've got ourselves just a beautiful vista, wonderful bluebird day. Kind of warm today though, so climbing up the hill, I wouldn't say Bob got started to get overheated, but uh, he was feeling the temperature. But you can see down here before us that um, there was a bunch of uh, old cabins and things like that. Probably some of this was uh, like a workshop, think of it like that. Uh, over there, I think I can see what is an anvil stump where they had the anvil and then there's somewhere in here, there's probably the where the you know the coal was for heating up the drill you know the, the the drill steel and reworking it somewhere in there in this mess is where all that is uh, turning around this is so they had a little stove in here so they were definitely working this mine when it was a bit chilly out there's a few things kind of hanging hanging around off the nails. Here's an old piece of cable. Um, up here, you can see this is where, so we had a fusing table in here. So there was, um, this went through the spool of safety fuse from one side to the other. The spool sat right up here. And then they would draw the line down, 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 down. And at, at one point there was probably a fusing table right here. And what they're doing there is they're cutting the, the safety fuse to length for the dynamite charges. All right. But that's about it in here, guys. I'll just do one more spin around before we leave. Show you everything like that. They certainly had a beautiful view. Look at this. Look at this. Look out the, look out the window here. Yeah, and here in a moment, I'm going to show you that right there. Okay, let's head outside. So, they had themselves an ore bin. Looks like a single or a double chute. That's pretty old. Yeah, well, the recreational miners, they weren't using this thing. So this probably goes back to the 30s, I'm guessing. Looks like it based on the nails. I haven't yeah. seen any square nails yet. Nope, all, all round nails. Yeah, and then down below, you guys probably aren't gonna see it from here, but down in the bottom of the valley down there, there's another adit, and then there's uh, another one on, on, on our side of the valley too that we want to explore today. 
It, it looked collapsed, but we'll head down there when we get done up here and see if they're open. So this one had some rail, and that, all the rail is bent right there. Hmm. I wonder what they did to bend that rail like they did. And then you can see from the rock, look at what they were pulling out of this mine. Look at the quartz through here. Look at that. All the quartz stringers. So uh, all these mines in this district, these are all gold mines mostly, weren't they? Gold, yeah, and then uh, the secondary, I think, was silver, tungsten. Okay. All right, past the welcome sign. We've got our air monitors with us, and yes, I do have my H2S with me today. <laughs> Unlike uh, the bad air mine. I ain't never gonna make that mistake again. See, you only gotta mistake, make a mistake one time. And then you say, well, I ain't ever gonna do that again. So we got a bat up in here. Off to the right, it goes this way. I gotta turn my lights on. It's like, why is this so dark? There we go, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. All right, let's look off to the right. Coffee can down on the floor. Looks like just a pack rat paradise up in here. Yeah, oh, with lots of bats. Uh, lots of bats. Hey, your friend is here, go get her. I've had a couple of them. Uh, yeah. Those two are just going in circles. Yeah, they're just going. So, so, the, so when you see them up on the face like that and they're going in circles, that just means that uh, um, the mine's going to face out. There's nothing. There's no reason to head up in there. But uh, yeah, these are pretty active. All right, turn it around. Uh, I'm certain we're going to see even more. Oh, there's oh, right there in front of your face. Oh, look at them all hanging here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, let me turn the lights down a little bit. All right, guys, I'm going to get a good shot. See how they hang? Bing, bing, bing. One, two, three. Off the wire. I like bats. They're just mice with wings, that's all. <laughs> lots, okay. of, lots of quartz on the, Look at this on one. the ground. Look at this one. Is he sleeping? Yeah. Yeah, he's... He's sleeping. Look at how he's just dangling here. Unlike his friends who are just flew further in. I'll just try to kind of try to bypass him without waking him up. Oh, look at all the friends. Look at they're all just dangling. Let's look at this one. Let's get a close up. Hey, little buddy. He's like, hey. Okay, look at my big ears. But uh, we're trying to sleep. <laughs> we were up all that all all late last night feeding. Oh, this is neat. Okay, so looking up, guys. Now we, Laura and I were, before we turned the cameras on, we were discussing what was going on up higher on the hill, and the map shows a shaft kind of a thing, and now I can clearly see it up there. It goes right up and out to daylight. Alrighty, here we go. Wow, look at the guano. There you go. Put some of that on your pancakes. Look at this, Laura. Look at look at look at it flowing like molasses. Oh yeah, there's that shaft. <laughs> and oh, pancake syrup. Pancake syrup. My favorite. Nice and fresh and mm. creamy. <laughs> mm. Yuck. All right. Yeah, that's guano. Okay, up in here we've got, uh, there's an old ore chute off to the left. And that one's all collapsed and chocked full. Whew, two more to the right. Coming down from our stope above. And what are we going to have up in here? See if I poke the camera up this way. You guys can see daylight up in there. I think you can. Maybe right there. All right. Oh, looks like we're coming into a great big stope up here. Wow. Oh, I would never have expected this to open up like this for a mom and pop operation. Look at this. Oh, holy cow. This is completely taken me by surprise. All right, guys. Wow. 
Look at the size of this room. Wow, full of bats. Now I'm gonna pan this direction, turning, returning, turning. Look over here, guys. Look at how they cleaned all that out. See, the problem is the, ca the camera just never does it justice, but if Laura or I were standing up on that ledge over there, we'd only be like about a quarter of the way in height as comparison to the stope. You can see all that drill holes still in. Yeah. Wow, neat. Okay, down here, we've got something going down. Let's look down in there. Oh yeah. Yep, something going down. There's like a ladder thing right there. There is that lower added on the hill, so I wonder if that you, that's connects. What I'm thinking. I mean, the bats are, uh -huh. uh, the bats are, they're still moving around down there. So yeah, that might connect with the, uh, the lower workings that are on the hill. That would make sense for them to uh, work this stope and send it out to the ore bin and then anything below us, they're gonna drop down to that other haulage. Yeah. Can you step out there by that ladder? We gotta do a size and scale here. And then kind of work your way off to the right over there. Way, way off to the right, yeah. Look at this, see? That's what I'm talking about. Until you get a person in, in front of the camera. I love, I love seeing all the bats just whirling around your head. <laughs> 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 okay, let's look up here. Oh, stope up and out towards the daylight. What are we going to have this direction? Goes there, and we have maybe a shaft. What is this going to do? Yeah, look at this. All right, Laura, I'm going to let you lift it. So that when all the when all the bats come flying out of the belfry here, you can hear me scream. Like we can hear you squeal. Oh, all right. We've got a hatch. We got a hatch, huh? We got a hatch. Want to open up the hatch? All right. <laughs> here they come. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> Uh, hatch with the ladder going down kind of into the area that we kind of poked the camera at earlier. Yeah, that might yeah. connect with that lower uh, yep. lower added on the hillside. All right, let's drop it. Okay. Here's one of them old ropes. Somebody using that to go down into the stopes? Yeah. I wouldn't hang off of that. No? It doesn't feel stable enough? No. All right. It feels kind of crispy. We're not going to use that one then. Mm -mm. Yeah, we were, a while back we did a Q&A in regards to old hemp ropes in these mines and teenagers that typically sometimes like to hang off of them. Yeah, if you, go, if you guys go back and look for like the Stay Out, Stay Alive um, campaign, that video will probably come up. It was somewhere sometime in the 90s of course their lighting was really crappy and yeah but yeah they decided to one of them decided to use an old hemp rope to drop down into a winds and it didn't work out no nope. no that's how you get a good old injury i believe what we have going on here this almost i was going to say barite at first but i don't think so the crystalline structure is just way too large for barite Looks like just quartz to me. This right here, look at this. Look at the look at the crystal and structure on that. Laura. Yeah, we've kind of seen this. I think it's yeah. This is very similar to uh, some some of the minerals that we saw in the springtime. It looks really. Oh, I remember. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, people were chipping at it. It was outside the workings, but they were they were collecting uh, cubes of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, is it going to go any further? Or basically, it just popped into the hill with a big stope. Yep, that's what it did. Interesting. Is this an ore pass? 
I need to look up here. Look at this old bucket. Oh, there's a bucket? Just yeah. imagine how many buckets of ore that they brought down by hand and then dumped it into the ore cart. You can tell by how wore out it is. Let's look up here. No, it's not an ore pass. It was, they were starting, they were gonna do it, but that's never, it. Never finished never it. Never finished it. Uh -uh. All right, turn it around. Well, I'm not gonna go down that, that ladder because I have a feeling that though that's going to go down and connect with that lower haulage. But I'll go ahead and uh, take you guys out with me. Lori, I want you to go first so they can see the mine from this perspective. Yeah, it looked like there might have been a small, small cross, cross cut over to the right. Yeah, up in here. Something maybe going this way? Yeah. All right. Let's take a I peek. Can't, yeah, I can't tell if it goes anywhere or not. Let's look. All right, looking up. Oh, there we go. The bats found their home up in here. Yeah, That's it looks a, like just a, probably another little pocket in there. Yeah, off to my right here. Just a little pocket, stops right there. Got some old bent track on the floor, but that's it. And then going back this direction, takes us back out to the big stope. Let's go back out the way we came. Back up this way? Yeah, I wanna follow you back into the big stope. That shot is more camera, camera worthy, so to speak. There we go. Okay, now down this way. Okay, head all the way to that far wall. Nice. There you go. That's that's just great. Now that really shows off the scale of this place. So we're gonna be in this district for a while and we expect all of the mines here to, to be looking like this. This is gonna be a fun place to explore. It certainly is. All right, so we have a... Um, oh, we have a load marks. We have a choice. Does this go down and to the left? Not really. I think it goes it? down to kind of where that false floor is. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I wanted to see <clears throat> if I can just free climb that. Maybe. <clears throat> I'll let you hold the camera. <clears throat> let me see if I can step down here. We can get a better look at this thing. Ooh, big pack rat nest. All right. Okay, got it? Yep. All right, let's take a peek, guys. Indeed, I did come down the hard way. <laughs> you can come over this other way, it might be easier. All right, let's look in here. Old ladder, and indeed, it's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. See guys, look at the ore pass. Leading down to that, it's all gonna head down to the lower haulage. So, no sense in free climbing that or bringing in the ropes because once we, if, if the lower is open, we'll be able to look up into that, into that ore pass. 
Let's hope it ain't collapsed. That would be really neat. Wow. Fantastic. I just, I marvel at the amount of work that it would have taken to excavate all of this. Yeah, all this was done by, done by man. Yep, 100%. At one time, this was, this was all solid mountain. Okay, back to the exit, guys. Here we go. Did you see the load marks to your right? Load marks. Tally marks. Oh yeah, no, I missed that. Thank you. Right there. 22, maybe? Yep. Watch right. out for the little dangly bats. Watch out for the dangly bats. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Look at that molasses. Pack rat molasses. Mmm. Mm. Oh, I think the, the ones that were here, I think they're gone now. Maybe. All right, baddie bats. We don't want to push you outside because that's where all the predators are. So we're going to hug the wall to the right so that you can fly right past. We got one dangle in here on a, on a wire. Oh, he just jumped off. Right. Okay, guys. So here's what we're gonna do <clears throat> as, we, as I head back outside. We're gonna shut the cameras off. I'm gonna head back to Bob. We're gonna drive down the hill, see if we can get into the lower haulage at it. <laughs> explore that one and then we're going to explore the one across the way that I pointed out earlier <sighs> right over there right over there okay we'll be back all right guys here we are down in the bottom and a moment to go we were just right up there you can see the ore bin and then directly below it you can see the haulage at it that I was talking about right there. So let's head up there and see if we can get in. Sometimes these are collapsed, especially in this part of the country where we get lots of snow in the winter time. And then when that snow melts, it all comes falling in. Kind of like that. Unless it goes. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go up and around. I'm going to just wait for you to give me a report. Cross our fingers, guys. Come on. We need a drum roll. And the verdict is... Um... Should be able to squeeze in here. All right. Fantastic. Okay. It's gonna be a, a tight one, but. <laughs> gonna be a tight one. Yeah, we've we've had some tight squeezes before. You feel all the air blowing out from above. Oh yeah. Yep. Ooh, chilly. <laughs> all right. Um get some light here and take a closer look at this let's see what I'm getting into here well that's cold burr we can do this all right I'm gonna make you the cameraman aka paparazzi paparazzi and point you point that at me let's get some of this out of the way get out of here But that's heavy. Oh, too bad. I can feel the, 
feel how it's all hollow underneath us from the, the timbers. I'm sure there's a bunch of timbers underneath us. Now remember, they always say, can you see me? Remember, they always say, use your legs, not your back. <laughs> ah. All right. <laughs> Laura. Can you squeeze in there? Not with a backpack on. All right. Time to partially, partially derobe. Partially. And I hope there ain't no rattlesnake right there because I'm going in blind. These are the minds that test men's souls. I don't think we're going to need... I'm here. I can hand your pack down once you get in there. And everything else. Nah, just leave it here. Alright. That's fine. Whoa! Ah. Whoa! So I'm stuck on this wire. Huh. Whoa, don't push that. <laughs> Foof. All right. Okay. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Just about the time I don't think I'm going to need it. One second, guys. Yeah, I'll hand it down. Hand me my... Hand me my gear. That's going to be about the time I need it. So, yeah, I'll take the pew pew. You just never know what we've got hiding up in here. Not that I would ever use it unless it was a life threatening deal. But better to have it, not use it, and need it, not have it. All right, guys, one second. I know you're just looking at a wall right now. I'm going to get my gear on here. Uh, be patient with me, please. I'm going as fast as I can. And, okay. All right, your turn, Laura. <sighs> Exciting. See how this is all failed, guys? Hey. If you want to pull that board out of there. Which board? Yeah, the, this the first, this one. This one. Oh, that one? Yeah, pull it out of there. <laughs> I just got dusted. Sorry. And that'll give you a lot more room to get, to get past it. Unlike me having to do the squeeze. Can you scoot it anymore? I can't get a good grip on it from here. Should be able to just lift up on it. You almost had it with your fingers there. There you go. One more lift and you got it. Got her. Good job. Sorry about all the dust. Hey, it's payback for a couple, <laughs> couple <Yeah>. weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, you're right. When I mean, you kicked all that. Uh, that pack rat and bat guano dust in my face. That's okay, I, for, I forgive you. It's all part of the job, you know? Alright, don't uh, get your foot on the other side of that wire. There you go. You almost got her. Don't try this at home, my kids. Don't do it. Watch. Watch Man. us. 
<laughs> Don't do it yourself. Watch ANFP videos instead. Yeah. All right, you did it. Good job. All right, now let's turn around and look at the size of the hollow jet that we've got here. Wow. Neat. Okay. Lights on. One, two, three. Perfect. Well, that was fun. You know, because it was like that, that means, you know, people haven't been down in here in a while, but back when it was open, uh, more than likely all the artifacts, the good artifacts are gone now. But hey, you know, mines like that where pretty much they've been picked over, it's still interesting to observe, uh, observe mine layout as well as its interior and exterior infrastructure. All right, let's peek up in here. Look at the size of this hollow jet. All right, I want you go ahead and uh, Ooh, walk. I get to go first. Yeah, you go first. Walk about 30 feet in front of me. Okay, I'm just going to hang behind you so that people can see the size and scale. That's the difference between shooting an episode where it's nothing but forward facing and shooting an episode where you can incorporate multi multiple cameras, 360 video. It helps um, open up the space for the viewer. But of course those take longer to edit and longer to produce and that's why um, these are much simpler to edit. No reason uh, to waste footage on a perfectly good Wednesday mine. Exactly. And uh, there's not enough time in a week to explore and to edit two episodes uh, with that level of uh, production. I'm a one man band guys. Well, and not if, anymore. If you guys went back and watched that Wednesday, it was a uh, behind the scenes when we were up at Thunder Ridge. You can get an idea of what it takes to to produce an episode. Yeah, I highly recommend all of our new subscribers to scroll back through the videos and watch the one she just suggested. It's the behind behind the scenes of Thunder Ridge. A lot goes into making a production at that level. Ready to crawl again? Are we, we, get, we got some more crawling? What do we got up here? Like, uh, uh, you know, this is, is this going to be our ore pass? No, or maybe. I'm not sure. Or is it a... Well, let's stop here for a second. So the main haulage is going to go straight. We've got something... Off to the left. Going off to the left that way. Oh, we got a, we got a dynamite box here with some writing on it. Oh. No, we've got some artifacts up in here. Here we go. Should we go left? Let's, no, I want to look at artifacts. All right, let's go left. <laughs> let's go left where the artifacts are. Yeah, look at here. Giant, giant, geolo, giant, G, G E L O D Y, giant geology. Never heard of that. G, G there's a patent. G E L O D Y N. Patent. I've never seen this before. No, that's new to me. That's brand new. Yeah. It says patent something, but we can't, can't make it out unless there's something. On the other side of that one? No. No, nothing. Huh. Look at this old... Uh, so what these were used for is they would fill them with, with lamp oil. See how it has a little handle on top? Yeah. Yep, that's a lamp oil container. Let's look at it from that direction. That's a nice, that's a neat looking artifact. That's, that's cool. Okay, here's an old oil can. What's the label on this one? Is it gonna be RPM? No, it's Shell. I saw a couple of those in the yeah. upper, upper workings. It's, it's, it's Shell. We may have a couple more right down here too. All right. There's a kerosene or gasoline tin right there. Those are really common. You guys have seen them many times before. Alrighty. Well now, 
What do we have here? Here's, here's an ore pass. See, we, we just don't know. I don't think we're far for, I don't think we're far enough under the hill yet to meet up with that ore pass we looked down on earlier. No, that was pretty timbered too. Getting some water back in here. Getting pretty damp. That's why all the boards in the are turning black from rot. But there's nothing, no artifacts here. Okay, turn it around. Yeah, this will be interesting to see. You know, if I was the guy designing this mine, I wouldn't put the main ore pass from that big stope. Part of a drill bit right there. Oh yeah. Off to the side. I would put it, I would funnel it directly. Let's see that here. That's the smaller drill steel. Yeah. But it's not, is it the screw on end? It looks like yeah, it. Yeah, it's the screw on yeah. end. So we're in the 40s. 40s. Anyways, um, like I was saying, uh, if it was me designing this mine, the uh, ore pass would come down right next to the main haulage instead of one of these drifts. We'll just have to see how it goes. All right, we've got one going that way. And then of course the main, let's look at the main here. We'll come back to the other one. Yuck. I'm, I'm literally crawling hand, hands and knees on top of a massive pile of pack rat poo. All right, what do we have over here? Mm. Nothing. Dead end? Dead end. Huh. And over here up to my right, this is our big orp. Yep, here it is. We found it. It was exactly as I thought it would be. See, they went straight up. So if we were, if you were to free climb this or come down with the rope, this goes straight up to what we look down into higher on the hill right there. Mm -hmm. All right, turning around. We got one more little drifty drift over here. So you can see the boards up there. No, 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 you can't because it, I wouldn't call it a corkscrew, but it, it does have a bend to it. Oh, okay. All right. Get over this rough rock. Okay. And there we go. 55 gallon drum. Let's look into it. No, nope, no body parts. Okay. I wonder what they, they definitely had something in here. They were, they had a hoist. Yeah. That was probably, it was used for tugging. Mm hmm See how it, it would have been mounted on these two boards right here? Turn around. So that means hey. if they would have had that, then they would have had right up here. Let's look for it. Is there a big eye hook? I saw an eye hook back near the portal. Yeah, where's the eye hook? See, what they're going to do is they're going to mount a big, a big eye hook in, into the back. And then they'll run the cable through that and they use that for tugging. Nothing to go in that direction. Let's look back this direction. No, oh, it's probably been removed. I think I saw an eye hook near the portal, actually. Okay. On the just on the ground. Yeah. That would be for a guy. That would act as a guide. Yeah. Yeah, for for tugging on the ore parts. Unless, of course, they had an electric. Um, what am I calling? What am I? You know what I'm talking about, Laura? Um, the electric. Uh, or cart or a, no, no, no. a mucker? No, not a mucker. A skip. No, let, 
the thing that they use to tug out the ore carts with. Oh, the hoist or engine? Let, uh, <laughs> electric, electric locomotive. <laughs> oh, locomotive. So I knew if we went through all of the words. <laughs> we'd, we'd eventually, eventually <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'd eventually get to the right one. All right, guys, I'm just going to take you up here to back to the exit with me. And I think there might be just enough time on this video. Should we walk across the way and take a look Take a look at that one since we're right here? And might as well. Might as well. It looked like there was maybe a building next to it too. Yeah, we'll go poke. We'll go take a closer look at it. All right, guys, we're gonna crawl past this collapse and then head over there and see what it, see what that one's all about. We'll see you over there. You're mm -hmm. getting close to where that eye hook was. Okay. Oh, here it is. You walked right past it. Is that yeah, it? Yeah, right there. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh, back again, guys. I spoke too soon. We found it. There it is. It's just been pulled out of the back of the mine. There's one right there. And then there's another one right here. Right there. So that tells me that they were probably, and, and then there's another one right here. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They were tugging all right. Okay, guys. Off to the other side of the wash. We'll see you over there. All right, guys, we made it over to the other side of the wash. Laura is looking for uh, the bottoms of bottles. Sometimes you can date those, and she does a really, really good job of doing that. High up on the hill up there, you can see the ore bin, and then, of course, the adit that we just came out of down below, right below it. And now we're here we are across the wash, and we've got ourselves a little cabin right here with a oven and an old stove right there. A lot of it is tipped over the hill and there's some there's the sole of someone's boot with the with the nail. See that? Yeah this is this is oh, old. Yeah. Oh yep. yeah hobnail. Hobnail. Yep and around the corner over here is what we're looking for. Nice. All right, well, if I get my feet under me and learn how to walk. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get some lights on. There we go. Oh, this one's kind of buggy. Let's try not to breathe it in this time. <laughs> what is this one gonna do? Okay, looking for snakes. I don't think this is going to do... Well, maybe. Well, someone's been in here. Here's an old D-cell battery. And some rubber components here. I wonder if they were trying to make an air door. Looks like they may have had a door here at one time. No, it's gone. Hmm. Boy, lots of pack rat stuff in here. Just, we're standing on tons of it. All right, what's this gonna do? Down here, we've got quality Ida. Laura, Laura will take a photograph of this and it'll be up on our Facebook page for you guys um, that do the social media thing, we all, we're always posting to our Facebook uh, photos of the mines we explore within a day or two after we explore them. So you guys can actually see some of the screenshots of the mines long before, some, a weeks if not sometimes a month before you even see it on video. Yeah, we even have a vial of something. Hmm. Or... So you know what this this is uh this must have just been like storage is all. 
pack rat has a really nice nest up in here. You gonna jump out at me, huh, little guy? No, he, this one is vacant. All right, turn it around. That's as far as it goes, guys. That's it. But it's filled with some, at least it has some things we can look at. What the heck is that? Was this eggs? Is that, that's an... Is it eggs? Modern and scientific methods used in the production of... What in the world was this thing? Yeah. It's an egg carton, for crying out loud. Any idea what that was? Loa Best, or Quality Eggs. That's an egg carton. It's an oldie, too. Look at that. Yeah. Let's turn this light. Oh, I got it down already. Uh-huh. Oh, it is eggs. It's an old egg carton. Oh, and you found a little vial. Yeah, I can't make out what it says. Mm -hmm. Specialist something. I don't know. That's where they kept the gold. That was the gold container. What's in the mayonnaise jar here? I didn't want to... Yuck. Oh, it's a mason jar and it still has the... Yeah. Huh. Ah, a few artifacts from the 30s. That's about it, guys. All right, well, we're going to work our way back old, back over to old Bob. We'll see you over there. All right, guys. Well, that's going to have to do it for this episode. You know, I had fun in this one. Yeah, this was neat. It was a, yeah. a smaller operation, but mm -hmm. still, we had no idea that big stove was going to be in there. No, I wouldn't have guessed that looking at the size of the waste rock piles around no, here. No, no. No, no. This one fooled me. I had... I had no idea the stope was going to be that large and I'm really happy that we were able to get into the lower haulage at it so we could show you uh, what they were trying to intersect. You hear me use that terminology a lot in my videos. What are they trying to in intersect? Which means what are they trying to get underneath? Are they intersecting with an ore pass? so that they can toss the ore as well as the waste rock down, down an ore pass? Or are they intersecting with uh, an ore body or a vein so that they can get underneath it and stope up using gravity as their advantage? And in this case, they had a great big ore body higher up on the hill and they used gravity to their advantage by tossing that down that pass and out the haulage right down here. Well, guys, thank you so very much for coming along on another fun Wednesday episode. I'm certain that we're going to have a neat one for you this coming Saturday. And don't forget, we've got Q&A coming up on Friday. I've really been enjoying those. Yeah, those are, those are it's fun. neat to interact with you guys. I yeah. mean, you've always asked if we would do something similar. So I hope you're, I hope you're enjoying it. Keep asking the questions. Like I said, we'll go through them and mm -hmm. we'll find them. I'm actually enjoying Q&A more than doing like a live stream sitting in front of the computer yeah 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 i don't know it's good time it's a good time all right guys we're gonna head out we got enough time today to head off to another mine we're gonna see if we can turn this next one into a wednesday or a saturday so hang in there you're eventually gonna see it sometime down the road okay you all take care now bye bye